Welcome back to another episode of the Reggie's Podcast. You're here with three blokes that could have been anything, ooh, but decided to have fun instead. Get that into your bar. Um, boys, we've got five days of footy to unpack over mm. uh, a cracking Easter weekend, including a couple of big Tiger upsets in both codes. Uh, some terrible results for the Aussie boxers over in America. <sighs> A big, big saga developing in Brisbane around the Lions over some off-season antics. I hope you've all had a rip in Easter, uh, listeners, and you're ready to rip in because there's heaps to cover as fucking usual. Bloody oath. Fuck yeah. I, I struggle to think how we used to fit the punting in mm. with this now mm. because That's, there's just so much to, to yarn about. It's allowed us a bit more freedom to mm. talk about Whatever we want, shit that just flies out of our ass constantly. Mm. We yeah, have a bit yeah. more space to do and, it. And uh, look, there's going to be a leaderboard, speaking of punting, that comes out on Thursday. We're going to drop some leaderboards mm. for the segments. And I'd love to say that our punting's improved <laughs> because Definitely of the not. split has shows. It? it has, though. We fucking back winners every week. Ups and downs. Um, look what I'm wearing. Yeah, I was going to say, talking about flying. Flying off the I shelf. Where ring. Big G one mm-hmm. is in the best jersey on earth right now, currently, and there's just there's no denying. I'd go it. as far to say it's the best jersey ever made. Yeah, for sure. Right until <laughs> next year. Good. That's yeah. not biased one bit. Mm. Gilly will be able to clip this up. Look at this. We're fucking pumped. God, that's glorious. This yeah. thing is that comfortable. Looks prime. It's just perfect time of the year to get yourself one as well, and you'll be hearing the date very soon. Yeah. Um. Not far away at all. Yeah, the timing you, could not be better. One thing I've learnt in this whole jersey situation is it's not a T-shirt. We got about four or five samples sent to us so that we could make it perfect. Oh. I will not be <laughs> threatening the jersey next time until it's fucking here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because <laughs> I have copped a flogging over this. Oh, thing. And but. That I'm sure in 20 years' time when they've got the first edition and they've got 20 others and it's the most popular sports show on earth, mm. then they're going to be happy that we waited and made sure that they were unreal instead of getting a jersey that didn't fit right and it had two bigger emblems and shit oh, like that. Oh, fucking oath. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Just those little tiny things that we needed to tweak. We yeah. made sure we did all that. And then obviously you had Christmas and New Year and all that. Yeah. And there's also like a lunar New Year thing that happens in February overseas in some Ooh. countries. So mm. that happened. But and we just had Easter. Yeah. Yeah. So but, anyway, but, uh, yeah, they're yeah. here and we'll give you a date soon because oh, I just can't wait for you all to have them. Mm, me Cannot too. Can't wait. Fucking oath. So yeah, make sure you keep your eyes out on that. And eyes and ears. Yeah, eyes and ears, guys. Eyes up footy. Yeah. Uh, righto, bit of RRLC news. Well, you know, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the resident jockey, Craig Williams. Oh, yes. Not the Craig Williams, but the, uh, Our Craig Williams. the bigger Craig Williams who would... <laughs> Yeah, not be on, a, not be riding at fucking Flemington anyway. No, uh, he's posted in there of a seventy-one-year-old bloke who played in a Div Five Premiership cricket premiership the other week. Seventy-one, uh, played for Murrumbina Cricket Club. Apparently, an absolute legend of local cricket. And listen to this: it was his first premiership since nineteen seventy-seven, seventy-eight. Holy oh fuck! Forty-six God. years between comps. I wonder if he said, "I'm not retiring until I fucking win another comp." Holy wow! <laughs> so what's he doing the field? Like I don't know. he'd be in the slips. Or... I'll, I'll barking. I'd be barking yeah. from first slip all yeah. day. Yeah, that, that's what I mean. You can't have him. He probably won't see the cunt, so it's probably not <laughs> ideal for any edges. <laughs> so you'd probably just put him you like can't really fourth get slip. Down and dive anymore. <laughs> put it this you, way: so. you might have him at first, and you'd have a third man. Put it that way. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> a deep yeah. third man. Yeah. <laughs> Because <laughs> if or you had he's to... screaming from cow corner, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Anyway, good on the bloke. I That's wonder if they awesome. surely they're not making him run fine leg to fine leg just to hide, yeah, cool. hide him. In well, the where would you put that old of a man in the field if you were captain? Mid on, probably. Yeah, mm. and then and just, just getting to just move over. We'll tell your bowler to bowl outside off and put him at mid on. <laughs> Is it risky putting him? <laughs> That's in where keeper? they always put. That's where you've all. Well, I've always. 
thought that the mate, you know, you're trying to hide yeah. someone in the field, you put him at mid on. Reaction time <laughs> reflex is you put him at keep and you're just fucking yourself up. But he's got yeah. big gloves. Just, just put him, him at legs. Nah. Gloves just ever. put him at legs, slip and let him bark. No, wicket <laughs> keeping is the fucking hardest position in the game. Yeah, easy. It's not easy. Mm. Right, anyway, good on you, mate. Yeah. Um, Legend. Cracking. 46 years we got a name? comps. Nah, we probably do, but no, I haven't not. written it down. Um, yeah, that was about it. There's been a heap and heap and heap of shit just rinsing me flat out, which yeah. is a fucking, so, I love it. Oh, it's always good to read. I love it. Yeah, I've got. <laughs> yeah, you, of course you can't love it. <laughs> well, I've it's the only got, place uh, they can rubbish you on. You don't have your personal fucking um, socials, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I've got a Facebook, but anyway, no, it's good. I love it. <laughs> fucking, it's prime. Um, we'll talk about it more in the punch show, but they've they've got up. The listeners oh, have got up. No. Yeah, and it came oh, it, like I wanted to be. Because I'm pumped that yeah. they've had a win, but I just wish it wasn't at Hawthorne's expense. Because yeah, obviously yeah. I wanted the Hawks to win yesterday and we are in the game for fucking most of the game. And had oh, it's great. All drama, it's great light, stuff. Like lightning was around, so the game got stopped and there was all yeah. this shit going on and I'm like, oh, fuck. But then it got to a point in the last quarter where I was like, well, we can't win. Mm. So I kind of hope... We don't lose by 23 or something like that. Yeah, and yeah. He misses out. But, yeah. Lukey uh, Smith, the OG. Yeah, good on him. Done. Good, good on, on him. Mate. And good on the listeners. They're in the game. Yeah, they're actually in the lead now mm. in the That's championship. Huge. Mm. Massive turnaround. It's one week and just turns it around. Fuck, yeah. But how yeah, good. I love it. Yeah. Righto. Let's get into the uh, – we'll start with the NRL. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Go Penrith, th- man. Go they through the games, yeah. Cunts Penrith. just find a way to win. Every mm. time. That's 22 right. 6 at one point, and I'm just sitting there shaking my head, going, How? Well, I think a lot of the other times, right, you have you lose someone like Nathan Cleary, and he's always a loss no matter what. But when you put Brad Schneider in there, who has a caliber to be able to do his job and do it well, mm. then, you know, people still do their jobs and shit. And yeah. Schneider's classy, but going into this game, I was like, If Penrith win this, and in the way they did, I was like, I'm not throwing in the towel just yet, but it's like, fuck me, they can easily do four peak. Mate, mm. they just bashed them. They just up the middle. Fucking like. play such good footy and have maintained the same style of footy no matter what player comes into the system yeah. for the last yeah. five years. They bashed them and I what do I see? I must have saw like the second half of the first half, if you know what I mean. Mm. Yep. And they they got a lot of fucking help yep. from the referee. Mm-hmm. But like whether they were six agains or not, I don't know. But yeah. it was just like at those, you know, those cunt times when yeah. it's just like fourth tackle yeah, and you get a six a roll again, on like thirty you, meters out. You get a piggyback out of your own end, and it just seemed to happen heaps. And I'm like, holy, the Chooks are only down fourteen six here because they scored late. Yep. I'm like, that's a that's a good win mm, for them. Like yeah. if they come out, but then they come out and same shit happened in the second half with the getting bashed up the middle. I yeah, think that's right. I think what helps Penrith right with these guns leaving right and other players who are a good caliber coming in because their style of footy isn't the flashy throw it around, rely on one dude to beat six cunts and yeah, score. Yeah, yeah. The fact that everyone does their job and they all know what job it is. Mm. If one person's out, they have their job to do. They go in and they do it. Yeah. And then they rely on the other team to fuck up, get an overlap score. Yeah. Like, I think that's what is allowing them to still operate with these guns out because the bloke comes in and he does his job and everyone else does theirs. Spot on. Yeah. They build off the back of each other. Like, even come, you'll kick it to the corner and they'll make 50 metres out of their own end because Taruva and... May, Dylan Edwards, they'll all come in and just eat fucking meters mm. out of their own ends, let the yep. forwards get back, get set. Isaiah mm. Yo is fucking been unreal mm. to start this year. Yeah. And then you this, got off the back of that Cleary who... Who's like this Taruva? He was there last year, but he's just like, where did he come from? He's come you to know, another like, level this year too. Mate, these, these are all lads that they've brought up through the system. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Targo is fucking killing Dungle's it as well. Play, he's playing fucking and, really well. Uh, and like I said, man, I think it's just a, it's a very good uh, system. It's, it's not as not the flashiest thing. They'll grind teams out of it, but like I said, I think it allows this to happen where these new lads are coming in and they just focus on their job. Yeah. The so uh, Good Friday afternoon traditional clash, rabbits and dogs. Not a bad game of footy, like to watch as a neutral. Mm. Mm. Um, not like super crisp or anything like that. Dogs, no. f- hopeless finishing. They should have won. I was, I was just dirty on that 
purely because I'm like, I'm tipping the dogs here. I genuinely reckon they can win. Mm. And I think they had every fucking chance oh, to. Like, I as know. in so many chances attacking the line, stuff like that. Preston. How the fuck was he allowed back on? Bro, he's out fuck, with a broken jaw. He's out now. As soon as I saw with him hit that contact jaw. and it was flush in the jaw, I went, that has to be broken. Broken jaw. And it comes back on. <laughs> Past his HIA. Yep. It's wild. Fucking hell, man. Man, I just go, holy fuck. But, I mean, um, yeah, I was just disappointed. Like, I've done it a couple of times now with the tip and it's like, yep, I'll go against. I reckon he's yeah, a little yeah, upset. Yeah, yeah. And then you can see it maybe happening. But it's not Jackie Whiten. Is looking um, played right. Yeah, he yeah. played right oh, yeah. for the for the rabbits, but I still don't think the rabbits have. No, yeah. that no that was not early. enough to go. Yep, they're going to find some form. They're if back. they had a played a side that wasn't so used to fucking losing, yeah, pretty like, much. That's all it'll come down to. I reckon they just don't know how to win sometimes because mm. they're so used to. Well, just couldn't you know. ice those situations. Nah. Like you see him attacking, and you go right. Someone needs to throw a risky pass, run a hard unders line, or cut out pass to the winger. No one did that play, and they yeah. just fizzled out every yeah. time. And you're going, some cunt needs to put the hand up here and, like, risk something. Every time right. they did, like, a, a play out the back or whatever, it was just the same thing. Yeah, and they just and slid the across. just slid and yeah. fucking uh, – anyway. Yeah. It probably wouldn't have changed the outcome of the game, but, like, the whole thing at the end where Burton was blowing up about where's the tee, they fucked up the clock. They, they put it back, giving, They end up giving 30 seconds back. Mm. I don't think Burton knew it because he's just put it on the fucking grass he, and kicked it. Yeah. Oh, you're saying to get within two. To get within two, yeah. yeah. Like, it wouldn't. That it was what. Because I'm going. 30 seconds, but still, it's like, I've seen greater fucking miracles. I was like, league. why did? Why are you kicking it? And then I thought, oh, hang on, the two-point field goal is, yeah, is, yeah. is the thing. That's changed. Hasn't that changed? Like, if you think about it. Yeah. If you, if you were coming in back in the day or whatever. Well, not back in the day, a couple of years ago, eight points behind in the last two minutes, you're fucked. Yeah. But now it's like you can score or teams might even try and nail a field goal and get from 40 back, yeah. and get it back with six to make. Like it changes the game yeah. a bit. Yeah, 100%. Gee, I would have loved it yeah. when he was down fucking <laughs> oh, eight, yeah. six and went for Fuck. it. God, he coughed oh. some shit. Um, the uh, second game. Good Friday uh, was fucking miserable weather in Brizzy. Oh, to start. Um. Yeah. I saw Joey Johns say on one of his NR uh, Channel Nine shows about the Roosters and the Cowboys being absolute morals, mm. and as soon as I saw it, I just laughed and went, "You just don't say the M word ever. You don't say the M word. You can just never rule out Penrith, and you can also just never rule out Brisbane at Suncorp. Yeah, and uh, Scotty Drinkwater still having nightmares. Oh. What a howler, that poor bloke. Fucking the whole... five or six errors, like, as a fullback, you're always going to get noticed when you yep. drop it too. Like, oh, it was just bro. a shit game. Look at that whole back five, though. The wing, like, two alone. Oh, that was shocking. Kyle Felt, Val Holmes, such little errors. Was it Holmes who just went to pick it up from dummy half and fucking knocked it on? Like, mm. just, yeah, oh, so they, you're many. never, ever going to win like nah. that. And... Adam Reynolds turned up with a fire in the eye on Friday night Didn't because he? Bro. we were fucking – the Bronx, sorry, we – well, we – we were up by 20 and he was still fucking barking orders yeah, and the, just yelling. He just had drink water just – oh, Like uh, the, the high balls and that in those conditions and shit. Yeah. You just, that's the general in him. That like, was, that's yeah, but you, that's the first game he's rocked up and actually yeah. kicked the footy properly. But I, but, I mean, that's what you got him for. Yeah, exactly. And I want to see him. That was perfect in the rain to do that. He had no pressure on him, and he was the difference in that game. It was his kicking mm. game. Do that when it's even dry. Yeah. I'm sick of, the, like, the typical drop punt, and Jordan Ricky would chase him and then just stand there and wait for the tackle. <laughs> he was trying to do it in Vegas, but he just kept fucking yeah. miskicking him. He has one of the fucking, besides Burton, he can put up one of the best torpies and just yeah. absolute wobblers and put pressure on a fullback every time. Do that every game. He has mm. been trying, but yeah. his kicking game's been shit. It has. That was yeah. Reynolds of old, that yeah. kicking game. It was good. He'd come out with a fire in the eye, and you could just tell even the game was won. Like mm, Cowboys yeah. couldn't come back, and he was still fucking yelling at them if they'd do something wrong. That's right. Awesome to see. Drinky, I think, got – there was a couple of stitch-ups. That mm. lay butt fucking went for this miraculous offload yeah, out yeah. the back when he wasn't <clears> even looking. <throat> like, And then he's running across field like this. Mm. And, um, oh, who was it? Just nails him from Ezra. behind and fucking yeah, 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 yeah. So him from behind. Just wasn't his night. Uh, it was good to see. So, good to see for the Bronx anyway. Look, obviously Bronx were just a class above that night, but – 
tell you what was just magical to watch, and that's Tommy Dearden's tackle. Oh, man. That was well, I, insane. I was up and about after it, and I've called it the best tackle ever. But oh, mate, like, I, now that we've all settled, I still don't know if I want to change my opinion. Mate, yeah. I, I think take the magnitude of what's on the line, the game, if it's a grand final, we're just talking about cover tackles. Yep, like yep, where yep, someone yep, makes yep. a break down the wing and someone from the other side of the field cuts them off and takes them out. How the fuck can you physically get better than that? Yeah. yeah. The distance it that was, he had to run and then who he was just chasing. Just the length of the legs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like and he just Man, pinned it and and how close he was to scoring two. Yeah. Right at That's the right. line. Out. Well, they sp- even called it a try. Yeah. And yeah, went yeah, up. Yeah. And nah, he's done it. Like yeah. you're spot on because people will compare it to Sattler's tackle in the yeah. band. Cherry final, Evans had a ripper as well. Origin, but like just based off where he was coming from, the fact that he's a half, yeah. A small little half, and Cobo looked slow. Got he, made he, did. Cobo, he made Cobo look slow. Got him a bee's dick off yeah. scoring. Oh. Like I just go. I'm pumped that I got to watch that live that moment. Yeah, and, like, and just go. And in 20 years' time, when people go, "Fuck, there's been some good cover tackles." Obviously, Sattler will be one. Yeah, that will be one that I'll say. Personally, that one, will, that the Sattler one, will constantly come up, Fuck and yeah. you yeah. can yeah. say he's a forward chasing down a winger. Yeah, and, and yeah, it was unreal. Grand final, like you won't yeah. get better than that. But he didn't. He only had to run 40 odd meters or 30. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah, man. So then when I'm putting the Dearden's running 90 metres against Cobbo, who is always slow off the mark, that cunt. But normally when he winds up, you you don't get him. But, But, mate, that – So good. Do you know what it is? It's a never-give-up attitude. Mm. It's a Queensland attitude. It is. And there's our Queensland halfback when Cherry Evans decides Mm. to hang up the boots. At at the moment, who else do you put in there? Like, I just go, that's the fucking attitude you want. Yeah, in the team. He's already played a couple games, yeah. and and so. I just go, oh yeah, for me in that game, that was such a good fucking awesome moment. Yeah, it was. That was probably the only one that comes close in terms of just based off the skill of it, regards to the magnitude. Was do you remember Xavier Coates doing it to Gagai a few years ago when he was at Broncos? Yeah, I think I similar do. kind of thing. It was I think it was an intercept. Gags has ran about eighty meters into the corner, mm. and Coates is chasing him down. Obviously, he's faster, yeah. but. And he's kind of been like run off the player a bit and then still got him. Still that's got right. him yeah. and like rolled him over. Yeah. Didn't even get to get the ball down. That, that was That was insane. awesome. But I think the fact that Coates is faster than Gagai yeah, yeah, doesn't exactly make it. Right. A, that's the whole. If you put So and Cobo and Dearden in how long they ran in a foot race beside each other. Just a hundred meters Gag- sprint. Uh, um, Cobo should smoke him, surely. Yeah, but he wouldn't have that night. No. <laughs> but and like Cobo's got the ball too, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you but, fucking I mean, know just, that he was coming? Fuck yeah. Do you he, had, he known saw him, yeah. I reckon he's just fucking put a bit of weight on because he's playing center now. And yeah, he's he's he probably could have avoided one of the best cover tackles of all time by stepping inside and just going, nah, brah, and scoring. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I whatever, reckon it was easily avoided. Whatever it is, I, like, it's just, for me, the tackle. It's, I'm not saying it's the best cover tackle ever in the big magnitude because there's so many different things to talk yeah. in. But it, you, you can equal that. Like skill wise to do a cover tackle, but I'd for me that's fucking that's as good, good as it gets up there. Fuck good yeah. as it gets, hundred percent up good there. In a to game, Tommy Dearden, that's captain of the week early for me. Yeah, it's mm. early skip. Yeah, early skip. Well, so <laughs> uh, the uh, fuck you, manly, you hopeless fucks. What the uh, fuck I is happening there? Everyone, but bro. like Turbo had five individual errors. He was not spooling. <laughs> nah. We've had a breakdown. The turbo's yeah, yeah. fucked. I don't even want to give them the time of day because they've fucked me in more ways than you can imagine. Mm. Um, mm. Awesome, awesome for the Dragons, though. Take nothing away from how good that would have been yeah. out there, home ground. And right. any time Olakowatu going over, Jace. Yeah. Yes. Just pen, pen that India multi every week. Yep. And Sloan. Sloan, Sloan scored two. as well, I know. When Dragons play good, Sloan plays well, good. Well, you see that uh, I read something to Sav. Lomax has been granted permission to yeah, leave. He's going to leave season. at the end of the year. Yeah, he doesn't like being a winger. Who the fuck's going to take him? Probably oh, Someone who wants a good centre. Have you seen? Yeah, yeah, he is pretty good. 
Have you seen his goal kicking though? Oh, he shanked that <laughs> so, one, man. And then he missed the next one too. Do you reckon he's doing that because he's like, fuck you, cunts. Putting me on the <laughs> no. wing. Putting me on the wing. I'll miss. <laughs> Do you think because he's gone and done that, Benny Hunt's going to say, well, where's my fucking permission? Cunt, if I was yeah. put, if I was put the open the on the gates. wing, I'd be kicking a stink too. I would yeah. never want to be called a winger. <laughs> I've actually got this later. I'm going to rip in now. Fuck wingers. They, yeah. every, every week... A winger does just does winger just shit. does winger shit at least once a game and makes the other team look good and score. Just dumb winger shit. Yeah. Like I understand they've got a decision to make where they've got to come in or stay out and slide, but it shits me when the centre is sliding <laughs> out and easily has their centre marked and dumb fuck just stays <laughs> there like this. Right until the last minute and then starts running and he Oh, I can't oh, make it. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> What is wrong with wingers, man? Oh. Is it just a winger thing? Like, it just is because you can tell they're evolving when you've got Xavier Coates fuck. scoring those Superman tries. You're yeah, like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 30 years ago, no one would do that. But then in a defensive situation like that, you go, you've still got that winger in you. Mate, Who? it's just that the wingers are the highest try scorers because they are marked by other wingers, and that's a fact. <laughs> I just, it was, that's a good it was fucking. Be. It was in the dogs game, man. He's oh, Tommy's giving oh, fucking oh, Connor, Connor Tracy. Tracy the biggest. Oh, oh, he yeah, goes, fuck, he right. goes good, man. He, he was fucking. hooking in. He was hooking in, <laughs> and then he just winged. He just winged. He yep. did. He did and exactly gross. what you just full blown winging. Uh, explained. He sort of just half asked it. Oh, mate, who was it? Must um, Johnston. Johnston yeah. just yeah. pinned down the sideline. Inside the white yeah. and try. And, and that was the exact scenario. Senna literally was right in front of his centre sliding across <laughs> and it's like he's concrete, he's concreted to the ground. He goes, oh, I'll go now. No, bro, you've missed him. You've missed him, man. Oh. It's, there's 10 metres between you and the sideline, yeah. mate. <laughs> and believe it or not, other wingers are also fast. Yeah, could, could I do better? <laughs> fuck no. I'm slow as fuck. Yeah. But I also do not play in the NRL on the wing. <laughs> <laughs> That's me oh, ran no. over. <laughs> Fucking squeeze of the week is just wingers for me. And that one all come about because of you, kind of Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> and you were going well too. He you was. were. You got I, a rap. I even yeah. put it into the boys. How good's Connor Tracy going? He has a dead set crack. He fucking I mean, runs within hard 10 every seconds time. after. It was like oh. the v, v, and yeah. just went, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot he was a winger. Sorry. Yeah, no, no. yeah, yeah. But anyway, uh, which game are we up to? Yeah, the Finns. Finns they were yes. good after an awesome start from the Titans. I know. 10 0, I'm going, here we go. I'm already <laughs> fucked because yeah. Manly's fucking fucked me. And I was kind of going, you know what? It'd be nice to get two legs wrong just so I. Don't just go off at Manly. Do you know <laughs> what I liked about that Finns game? We all predicted that it was value, right? Mm. That that the Finns were value. They Buck should 70. easily win this. Buck 70. There you go, guys. And do you know what? They just fucking did what they were supposed to do. And it was great. I, I love that. Yeah. yeah. When <laughs> something really cool. just get fucked. When something works like it's meant to. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking good. That's right. That's right. But no, uh, was good. to be a fly on the wall in that Titans dressing room after oh. the game, man. Oh, too. man. Even looking at, like, we'll get to it later when we go through the game. But just looking at their lineup this week, I'm going, where does Desi and mm. anyone actually, like, how do you be positive? Yeah, yeah, right yeah, now yeah, with yeah, Tino yeah. fucking gone for the season, yeah. Fafita's off the bench. What are you doing? What they, what Fuck sort it. of crowd did they draw on fucking Saturday? I wonder because it was Saturday. It would have been all right because it Saturday was night some Easter Saturday. Fans. Yeah, mm. just go down the M one. Sure. Yeah, I just mean for them for I didn't Titans see the fans. You know? crowd, but yeah, it's hard. It's hard not to tip yeah. them heavily into spoon. It's like I, I, know, I, I yeah. would nearly put me like as. That's well, a mate, very solid bet right when now. When you're looking at, well, I wonder what you're getting. You must be getting less than two dollars. Has to be because you got the dragons and the tigers going well. Get, well, yeah. at least getting a few wins. Yeah, and then the doggies look, you know, fucking way better. Titans right, usually so. do what the dragons are doing now. They'll win a big game against a big team, lose yeah. to a horrible team, but they mm. have nothing. They're just losing. Yeah. They yeah. are the shittest team in the comp right now. And the, that, uh, there wasn't even really that one team last year, was there? That was just shitter than everyone mm. else by far. And at the moment, you can pretty safely say that Titans are that team. Very yep. bad. And very they've bad. had their bye. Yeah. Mm. Not so, good. No. Uh, uh, the rabbits, I think, are still bottom of the ladder, though, aren't they? 
Let me check. But, but yeah, I no, can see. Won. But even though nah, the Titans are bottom now. But oh. even though Rabbits might be there, and I don't think they'll make the top eight, they're definitely going to win some games. Yeah, I know. It's just know? nice yeah. to see yeah. them down there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, for sure. It's great. <laughs> um, yeah. The Waz got the job done. Uh, yeah. This is one game I didn't get to see too much of. So. No. Uh, it's looking like the Knights might need another 10 in a row at the end of the year, mm. the way they're going. They just haven't fucking oh, yeah. started I'll well. I'll tell you what, they? though. Do yourself a favour and watch the highlights because you get to see two of the greatest goosey oh, deliverers. Wasn't it? true. We're on show on this one. KP <laughs> yeah. and RTS, bud, just fucking breaking ankles. Yeah. It is. I heard No RTS. cunt will ever get sick of it. Just watching someone just go, and yeah. then Digger just crumble. I like heard he had a good game, RTS. It's fucking RTS sick, has mate. killed it. So it's, what now? He plays fullback, I mean. eh? The headache if when Chance comes back, it's oh, like, it's this where week. does he go? Chance well, is back. And he, so that was his first game at fullback and he played prime. I didn't get to see all of it, so I can't comment, but that those couple of runs, like just seeing him go, dus, and well, he, oh, mate, just get ooh, turned inside Chance out. Chance has been named at fullback. Yeah, oh, really? he's into the centre. Yeah. Wow. But, mate, if right. you give him enough early ball... He, he can will do just that, yeah. jink the centre and then well, create right. the overlap that, or score. That try. Because he's against a winger after he gets past the centre. <laughs> <laughs> Roger killed it in centre the week before against Raiders anyway. Mm, true. And, well, so, yeah. And no, I, yeah. Go, mate. I was just going to say, KP as well, that game. Yeah. What, like a couple of the breaks that he did and shit. Just He's that dude who, in a shit team, he gets them from like the 20 metre line up to the 40 on his own yeah. to start a set. Yeah. That's the sort of he shit KP does. Boy. He's, the um, the cut-out pass to make the break. Like all those things there, he's your gun. Is he going to play 14 for Queensland? I was going to say, off topic quickly, Queensland need to pick Walsh and KP in their yeah, team. Walsh fullback, KP 14, bring him on as a roving lock, let him just have fun. Yeah, Do I just, just don't want it to get too fucking too much going on. But mm. if he plays that role and he doesn't move out of his lane, you mm. know what I mean? Like, Mate, I just I reckon. Ben Hunt and Harry Grant. Yeah. Yeah, just pick one. Yeah. Do you just go just two pick forwards? One. Yeah. Do you even go two forwards? Oh, KP nah, Harry just Grant. pick one. Harry Grant can play 80. Yeah, he can, but Dozer is fucking so good at origin level. Yeah, I know. I, yes. know, I know he is, He's but I Dozer. just think I know and I love him. I love Dozer. Dozer. Like, I love <laughs> him. But you cannot tell me that we can't have those two cunts I know. in our I know, team. I know. We have to have them. Yeah, yeah It's yeah, such yeah, a good yeah, headache. If you're it's New still... South Wales, they're going, oh, please just pick one. Nah, nah, cunts. It's pretty much exactly two months away from, you know, Ooh. now. So... It's so much can happen. Mm. So let's not get too involved yeah, yeah. there because yeah, sure. you know anything can happen. I'm just excited. Oh, same. I'm just excited. Same, yeah. same, same, Watching same. how crisp KP's been in a losing team yeah. just with a few of the things he's doing. Well, I'm like, prior to his injury, you put him in with every cunt who's doing their job around him. Oh yeah, and just watch him. Watch yeah. him go. Mm. Uh, Raiders up eighteen nil. Games in the bag. Yeah. Count your money. Get in the queue. Yep. Lost 36-22. Nico Hines with a goal-kicking clinic, and uh, he played all right. Six on from the six, field too. yeah. Uh, it's, this is just another one of those ones where I'm like, I think I've got a bit of value here. I'll go the well, upset. Well, you did. Yeah. But the useless fucks just well, stopped playing. That's what I mean. 18-0, yeah. I'm going, yes, fucking sweet. I've and got I, and then <laughs> half-time, 18-0, I'm going, the milk really needed half-time there. <laughs> Hopefully they regather. <laughs> nah, nah. They fucking <laughs> regathered nothing and come out and got spunk. Yeah. Spanked, yeah, spunk, yeah, yeah, yeah. spanked, spunked on. They got spunked on. <laughs> I even hit the groper each way last week with this game, and <laughs> after <laughs> the fucking first way. twenty minutes, it's I went. Unreal. Yep, I was like, "That's done." Thank God I went the each way special. Yeah, I've done the each way special, but oh, Sharkies came back and fuck it saved me. No, oh, and just with that bad week in the tips, fucking useless yeah. forward pack too. Like how oh, I know that right? forward pack do oh, that. I know. Anyway, um, Shark Park, Flat Track Bullies, you called it. Yeah. They that just was the, are, man. That was the other <laughs> side of your each way, I yeah. was. <laughs> flat that Track was Bullies. was fucking triple each way. Um, look, I'm not even upset about this because no cunt. Oh, there might have been a few, but not many people would have tipped the tigs, I don't reckon. Loved it. This oh, really? And, oh, I loved it. Loved it, one. It's yep. awesome. And do you know what else I loved? Gutho with a kick <laughs> oh, to win. Oh, yeah. I'm surprised you didn't review it. How? <laughs> Because <laughs> someone he, said, um, boo. He, when he runs <clears throat> up to goal kick, he looks horrible. Mm. Like, no, there's just no. It's so unorthodox. Fl- like, it's not fluid at all. Mm. It's so weird. Whereas Mitch Moses is the complete opposite. Looks he like just... every Reggie kicking one from the canteen honestly, side. Yeah. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> do, you know how, do you know how every, every Reggie's team 
there, every cunt's deadly at kicking goals from the right sideline because that's near where the bar is. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone just lines up and plants them from the right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. They, and they all have the same style as Gutho, but yeah, yeah, it was I, hard. I didn't get to watch that, but um, it, it was good watching the highlights and the Teague's getting it done. And, yeah, right at the end there, he's just fucking shanked it to the you left. you got to kick that, I reckon. You're directly in front. I know you're 40 yeah. out, but fucking hell. See, I suppose Gutho not being the um, – Normal kicker either. He probably like hasn't Moses. kicked too right. many Moses, from there, yeah. eh? Yeah. Nah. Moses is the – he's a pretty sharp shooter. Anyway, it was but, good um, to see. Oh, I love seeing that. Great Moses signs. and Gutho, love seeing that stuff. Up Great signs for the Tigs too after that shaky start. Fucking oath. Right. Even if it's – even it's not like we're saying, they're, oh, top four finish or fucking yeah. anything like that. Yeah, no. But, I mean, They'll winning, get a couple of, winning a couple of early <laughs> games like that. Yeah. Like, fucking awesome. That and good on so Benji much. too. He had a lot of heat on him fucking mm. – you know, people carrying on a few rumours at the start. So yeah. good I'm on glad Benji. Caesar's starting now Fuck too. Yeah. Like that was always the right choice, I think. Mate, how good's that Galvin? And goal? Galvin, Fuck now they're going me. shit. We paid. I think he's Jerome gone a couple of weeks now. Yeah, he yeah, is. he is. But they're like in next year. Mm. Galvin keeps playing. He just kills it. He goes. Luai's coming in for six million. Yeah, but fucking play him at halfback. True. Yeah, exactly. Caesar's Caesar is would be mid thirties easy. Yeah, he's yeah, in the back yeah. end of his career, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Justin but, Olam, he's oh, fucking the revives. Olam. How good, mate. Yeah. <laughs> How good's that? Yeah. He killed it. It's no. good to see the Tigs up and about. Oh, and what did you see Clemmer? After oh, <laughs> giving him the Oscar. Oh, look, that's probably the only time I'll say good on you, Clem, because yeah. I used to he used to He'd be one of those players that played for New South Wales mm. that I just, as a fan watching, I, my blood would boil Bro, watching him be such a grub mm. it made for me New so South angry. Wales. And <laughs> how he just trucks nut dead straight and was like, how has someone not folded this He'd always cunt? be just hands in the face just doing yeah. shit. Back when we won all the time. We were dominating. Yeah. And what do you mean? They had, they had to do something, you know, to try yeah, yeah. and stop the run. And no. they brought in Woods and Clemmer. And fuck, man, I you used to go off my head. Oh, I fucking hated them. Just, oh, and they, hey, that's probably what they were doing to the players on the field too, so good on them. That's right. But fucking, mm. geez, it used to <laughs> wind me up, eh? But then, yeah, he's done the old fuck you. Yeah, I'm get that like, up, yeah. I'm like, that's all good because it's to Gutho, but I'm like, oh, bro, the game's over. You've yeah. already, you already won. You yeah, do you reckon that's, <laughs> that's one of those ones? Do you reckon that's one of those ones where <laughs> – the heat of the moment, you do it, and yeah, then you watch it back, yeah. and you go, oh, oh, "Shouldn't have done that." We'd already won. <laughs> Emotions took over. Him. Well, remember when Kane Evans wrote "fold some, some cunt, cunt" on oh. his <laughs> on his fucking on his wrist? Oh, yeah. That's what, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. That just folds. showed the player he was too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. And then got in trouble for it, of course. Yeah. On, on the back of it, oh, Kano, remember the shot he put on that big Sam, uh, or oh, what's his oh, name for the Bulldogs? Cassiano. 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 Yeah, man. Yeah, anyway. 125 Folded kilos him. he would have been, big just, Cassiano. He just flopped straight that was back. Oh. Big rig. Unreal. Right, righto. We'll uh, move into the AFL uh, major story. Points. Obviously, let's talk about the fucking leaked, alleged – misbehaving from uh, some Lions players who went on an end-of-year trip to Vegas. WhatsApp is linked to the missus computer back home. Mm -hmm. Messages Mm. were read by partners of what they've been getting up to after it was all uploaded to the cloud. Um, Reports are that it's caused a massive rift between the players and also obviously relationships have been ruined and I'm just going Fuck me, what head yeah. noise. Are we going to beat around the bush or are we just going to say they were cheating and yeah. it was in a fucking group chat? Charlie, I suppose meant to be Charlie Cameron's iCloud was hooked up back home, Mrs. Caesar on the laptop. Alleged. Yep. And she just went, fuck this cunt. I sent it to all the, all other, the other girls. Yeah. I just don't. That is just, obviously it's wrong. How the, the fuck has that stayed under the carpet? For so long. Like, hats off, that's. The girls shouldn't fucking have to deal with that. Not but at hats all. off to them for not just absolutely hammering. It's them. come out now that lines are playing shit, yeah. and they had to see. Oh, we need an a excuse. A few players had to see someone on Friday, and clubs sat and down and pretty much said, "Is this why we're playing shit? Has this caused dramas between the boys in the playing group?" And they're like, "No, no, no, it's fine. It's like 
Oh, man. That's some big – you got Lockie Neal, Charlie Cameron, Eric Hipwood. Blokes like your biggest players were on that trip yeah. and it is showing in your performances. Mm. Yeah, yeah, behaving like dead set lines, just hitting every female on the prod. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just marking their territory around the flats. Oh, weren't they? <laughs> Obviously, it's well, not. Well, we right. don't know. We're just yeah. assuming that Allegedly. that's what's happened. But that's that's dramas, mate. Oh. What the fuck? Especially because that's... like some blokes won't um, think that that's the right thing to do, and they're going to be <clears throat> blowing between the boys. And then obviously, yeah. you got people are going to be like there'd be breakups from it as well. There yeah, was. Yeah. I just uh... go like. First of all, I think it's fucking shit cheating on anyone, both sides of the thing, something that I would never do and I'd frown upon anyone who does it. But if you did do it, don't fucking write it down anywhere, oh. you silly cunts. Why what would you make a group fuck? chat? What the fuck? I with know nine WhatsApp. other athletes. Oh. I just go, I know like, WhatsApp is like coded and all this shit, but if you do something wrong, don't write it down, you dumb fuck. I know. What the fuck? Dumb cunts. What the fuck? If you're going to do one thing wrong, don't do two things wrong. That's the rules. Yeah. yeah. Just, I they're just, dumb, dumb. Dumb, dumb. Yeah. They are dumb. Footy dumb. players, dumb. man. Yeah. Footy players are fucking See, they'd dumb all cunts. be wingers. Yeah. In yeah. the other code. They would as be, much, <laughs> actually. Oi, as much as I love <laughs> AFL, it fucking feels good for once because I feel like a lot of, especially Victorians, love mm. to say, like, oh, the NRL players are so reckless. Such they're always grubs. in service. Yeah. They're grubs. They it are. It goes, yeah, well, you know, the AFL blokes have a bit of dog in them as well. You know yeah. what? Bit of, you know bit what? Of when there is a dog. fucking AFL saga, it's a big cunt. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <that's true. laughs> it all boils up. They yeah. just go fucking. We're going for the heaviest shit. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> that is that will fuck someone's game though. Oh, I wish and we can had you known this it? before can the game. Imagine, mm. Can you imagine like the rocking up? Obviously, the boys are all done the wrong thing, but Charlie rolls in. They go, "Cheers, bro." Yeah. Well, that yeah. Cheers, man. Fuck, man. That's, uh, Imagine the head noise t- from mm. them. Just fucking. And but see, obviously, I, couldn't, I couldn't live with it regardless of anything cheating and that. It's just the way my head works. Well, so there's no yeah. way I'd be able to operate at a normal thing with that lingering How in you head. How come home from that holiday to your partners if you thought you were oh. going to get away from away with it and just be like, oh, hey, babe, I had a great time. I did nothing wrong. You're just a yeah. fucking grub, And then, man. boom, and now you, you've got to go out and play a game of fucking footy. Oh, like, they these, oh. honestly, Lions d- deserve to be playing shit footy. Yeah, well, that should be a reflection of that. That's so fucked. They've got yeah. North this week, boys. So, oh. is it a value? I don't bet? know if it's. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, anyway, One the game. The game. Hmm. Um, look, <coughs> good game of footy. I thought the Lions were going to come over the top of them in the last quarter. Even the second quarter, they were looking good. I man. know. Lockie Neal. I don't think the trips affected him much because <laughs> fuck, he was killing a single handedly. Oh back man, into the contest. But it was just like. There was nine points in it in the halfway through the fourth quarter, and you go right. One side is going to be zero and three here, having played two games at home, yep. and the other, or one side's going to be zero and four. Like, and they both played the grand final last year. Like, holy fuck! It was and wild then, to think about. Yeah. Anyway, good on Collingwood. That's a big effort to go up there and win at the Gabba. That's huge. Regardless of what fuck's going on with this WhatsApp bloody carry on. Yes. Um. Yeah. So. What I think I tipped the pies for the first three weeks, then tipped the lions, mm. so that's good. I went lions purely because of the gabba. Maybe they're the new wa- the the was <laughs> of the show. Cursed. Mm. Um, look, Carlton, wait, just too good over North Side, who never stopped trying. That's right. Oh, North. Even though it is North, <laughs> fuck Carlton looked really good yeah. in the back end of that game. But they kicked eighty points, man. They yeah, kicked eighty points, was, which yeah, is loud. fucking good to see. Like North, do it. Um, off the back of that, the Crows, looked, mm. they look in trouble. Yeah. Like, they only scored 35 points, mm. man, the whole game. And, I, know, yeah. I mean, Frio only just doubled that. Yeah. It was a low score. Very low scoring, but still, <laughs> man, a lot of people had high hopes for the Crows this year. They I know. Had, you're 0-3. <clears throat> Obviously, you don't have the pressure because you didn't fucking make a grand look, final. Look, there's fucking – there's dramas in the nest, boys. Oh, they haven't fuck. been good enough. I want to give them a pump up. I'm fucking yes. not happy, all right? Wow. There's some, for, some for Nixie to play in the sheds to the boys, okay? <laughs> right, right, lads, speak shut. Listen up. Fucking none from three is not good enough. <laughs> have a look around. Have a bit of pride in the nest and stop fucking shit in it. <laughs> All right? <laughs> Fuck 
me. What's a group of crows called, boys? That's right. It's a fucking murder. <laughs> and that's what we're going to do this, this this week. The run starts now. Let's give these Mexicans a good old-fashioned fucking hiding. Swoop and peck, boys. Godspeed. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. I'm sweating. Swoop and peck. Fuck. Oh, and if you didn't hear any of that, because fucking Jace was coughing. Apologies. <laughs> fucking, we need a pump up. That's not good enough. Well, 30 something points. You know what you got this week? <sighs> Gather round. Mm. The fucking good name. Yep. Gather rounds at the Adelaide Oval this weekend. At Another home game. Who are you playing? We'll find out fucking soon who you're playing. The D's, mate. Oh, they Ooh. are too. And they just got it done at they Adelaide They did just get it done Port. against Port yeah, at the Adelaide well, Oval. If, they, if they're here, that, if Nexi it'll plays that up. in the shed, we've got them fucked. Is there a bet going on here with you and Quinn? Oh, Quinn's a D's, man. I, I was talking to Dad on Friday, uh, sorry, Saturday, having lunch, and I actually tipped Port because I thought yeah, they'd same. get it done at home. But yeah, oh, they, Dad said, got- have faith. They'll be in stride, so mm. oh. I'm going to obviously go for D's this week, though, just because of... Yeah, yeah, because the crows are shit. Are you oh, so I have, we have, something, needs to, something needs to happen. <laughs> something yeah. needs to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. It, ha- it happens now. And you've yeah. got the team to do it as well. You do. You got the and oh, I've always said it. Hopefully, last year, the first gather round, that was the highlight for me, was the Crows game on they the Friday Carlton, night. They beat Carlton, or the Thursday night, yeah. sorry. It was fucking unreal. It was packed out, 50,000 beat Carlton. It was awesome. Carlton, who were on a high at that point too, looking very good. No, 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 no. I thought no, they no, were. No. Not at the start of last year. They were fucking no yeah. good. Uh, well, anyway. There's me fake news. They had a good. There it is. Essendon. Glorious game of footy, Sadie Arv. It was. was. Oh, man. At uh, Marvel, which is weird that they played it there, but. Hey. They had a lot of games at the G on the weekend. Though, yeah, that's so true. That's true. A bit. Essendon played the Saints. Jakey Stringer, fucking that kick stood from up fifty out. I know there was. That's six, why he's there. I know it was six minutes left, but fuck, that was a great goal, man. Mm. That was a great night. The package, and the crowd, mm. just fucking lit up. I yeah. thought the roof was going to tear off Marvel, man. Saints fucking got off to a flyer, and then it sort yeah. of come back, and it was just a good game. Good it game of footy between two footy. Melbourne sides that are well supported and all That's that, right. so good. And then backed up with another beauty on Saturday night. Wasn't crowd's it? been good, Absolute. boys. Like, crowd's been pumping this year again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Easter that. weekend is, like, yeah. huge. They get massive crowds at every game, no matter mm. where it is anyway, yeah. mm. obviously, because everyone's got time off. But, yeah, that was a fucking belter at Adelaide over, man. Yeah. Between two sides that have started the season well, yep. in form. That's it's huge from good, the D's massive. to be able to do that away Massive from home. for the D's. Uh, Oliver, just he's he is no, nothing's happened. In the season, bath, just apparently. ripping in. <laughs> I think he's just, just going to do this every off-season now. Yeah, I'll fucking He may not? as well. Yeah, he's back in Can we sponsor him? <laughs> that's not a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> reach out, Clayton. Yeah, I mean, he sort of has. Maybe that's well, what he did. Doing. I just he mean it'd be good to have a yarn with the bloke. Yeah. Like, as in, even if it's a phone call, like, fuck it. I tell you what, I probably won't talk to you about uh, football skills. We <laughs> yeah, are not about being a yeah, Reggie. Those days We're going to address the elephant in the room. <laughs> well, what's a Reggie? Someone who can kick ass on the field and have fun off it. Well, exactly right. fucking right. Sign up, Clayton. And he definitely had fun. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. And he's going if we well. did like a modern day, have to be still playing uh, RRLC team, mm. he'd be first picked. He would just <laughs> off the back of that off season. Off the back of the off season. Mm. Uh, righto, the dogs hammered West Coast. Sailed. Don't need them. to go in. Seventy six <laughs> points. Yeah, no good. Um, but, but we called it. Upset of the weekend. Positive. Another another Tigers team, Richmond. Beat the high flying swans. That was huge. Oh, massive man. That was what? huge. At the G, it was one of those games where you're like, now I didn't go the each way on this. I just went swans will win. Yeah, oh, yeah. But it was like did. you look back and you go at the G, Sydney, what, Richmond what was loves the, score? the G. Oh, it was only 82 77. Kick oh, in it. Wow. Yeah, it was a great game. Awesome. Great game. Especially because, regard besides round one, I think you mentioned this last week, Grace, besides round one when they were getting absolutely hammered by the Suns in the first half. In yeah. the first half, they have been in it. Every yeah. game. Yeah. And they're only going to have more players come back through injury. It's like, I think we might have written off Richmond a bit oh, too early. Yeah. Well, you're, they're not yeah. going to be a contender, but they could easily make the eight. Apart from one half of footy, first half against the Suns, yeah. they've been good. Exactly so, right. Yeah. No, I agree. 
Um, and then you had the Easter Monday, traditional clash, Geelong and Hawthorne. Um, the look, mighty I said it. catters. I said it. We're no chance. So I went the each way, tipped Hawthorne. Yep. Um, let's be honest. Great for each way. <laughs> Geelong, <laughs> they ran away with it in the end, but and they were always in control. But there was a few like moments there where I was fucking, you know. You had going. a couple of glimpses. Especially. We got within 17 a couple of times and I was like, here we go, here we go. Kick one more and next yep. thing it's under two goals. But it never got close especially enough. Especially start of the fourth. Yeah. When just after the play got delayed due to lightning. Yeah. And you's come out of the gates straight off that fucking centre bounce. I went. Yeah, I know. It was like no. fucking I was just yelling because I was going, come on. Yeah, and then, but it was sloppy conditions yeah. in that fucking last quarter, obviously. But it feels good to be 3-0. and oh. feels real yeah, good considering we were 0-3 last year. Wasn't expected, was it? No, I did not. I knew I had faith in us to make the eight. Yeah. Just, but we are looking like a top four team. I'll say it right now. Mm, fuck. Jesus. <laughs> Just pulls the trigger, this cunt, eh? I do. <laughs> I may pull the trigger a bit too early, but it's, I'm this fucking cunt has a the cats hairline trigger but on when, it. <laughs> but when, it, when it's right, you look like a genius. I look like uh, I fucking know what I'm talking about. automatic too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just delete all the other ones. That Just clip that, Gilly, when we win the flag this oh, year. Oh, there's no <laughs> chance of winning the flag, surely. Although the forward line is looking glorious. Even the her forward line just ages like fine wine, man. Oh. Tommy Hawkins, I don't want him to retire yet. You played Hawthorne, mate. Fucking give me a spell. <laughs> mate, regardless of those games. Jeremy Cameron, he's elite. We know that. Uh, he is elite. I'll give you that. Righto, the, let's go into a bit of uh, boxing, boys. Oh! Cause it was, <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't have been worse. We'll start with real quickly, just to say the three results in a row, um, not in order. Zarafa knocked the fuck out. Mm-hmm. Wilson looked in control, then decided to touch foreheads and bang. And then Zoo won the first two rounds on every scorecard. All three of them had it 2 0 to Zoo after two rounds. And then the the, uh, the cut happened on the, the top of the head. Elbow. The it was mixed mixed results all the way down the cards from all three judges, as you'd expect on a split decision. Like not every judge saw yep. it the same way. Hmm. But the fact that it was clear as day the first two and then bang the cut. And it was not Big Long's fault either. No. Tim no. fucking dead set lent into it. Yeah. And he probably just tucked his head straight he, yeah. down onto his body. Yeah, there's Weird. so many talking points here. All I can say, though, overall, is I have just gained nothing but fucking respect for Tim Zoo. Oh, 100%. Both, for both him and Wilson. Yeah, 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 like, for sure. Like, I for for Timmy, like, just on that um, fight, that cut above his head, above his eye there like that, going straight into his eye. Now, oh. I, was, I was listening to a couple of boxers talk, and they're saying when blood gets in your eye, it's not like water getting no. in your eye. It stings like fuck in your eye, and oh. you cannot see. It's not like water in there. like Because people, I think, would just assume it's like, oh, a bit annoying yeah. in your eye. But it's like it hurts, and oh. your vision goes blurry. So his eye is lined up because... Fedora, Fedora was a southpaw. Yeah. He's a southpaw. Yeah. That bad eye that it was going straight into is directly at his jab. So he's just getting jabbed, not mm, being able yeah. to see it. You know, they could have called it off before round four and it be a no contest. Yeah. But that's just not the cut uh not the cloth that he's cut from. No. Nah, and he not. just fucking did not whinge once, kept getting it wiped, kept getting his face poured in blood. Couldn't see fuck all. And you know what the best part was? He made no excuses at the end. He literally said, look, the cut wasn't great. I couldn't see, but the better man won tonight. And you go, that's a champion that you can fucking get behind. Bloody 100%. It was awesome to see that. And I think like we've spoken about it a little bit. It was a bit shit for the other side. Like, full credit to him. Mm. He... They kept saying he's finally using his jab how he should and all that, and that was obviously because of the blood going in the yeah. eye, and it was the obvious thing to do. But yep. it was a bit shit that in the interviews and that he didn't even mention oh, the cut. Didn't <laughs> like, even acknowledge it. It's like, hey, dude, the whole reason you could jab the fuck out of him is because he couldn't see it. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. as in, like even just a comment to say, look, the cut was unfortunate. It obviously altered the fight, but it was great to get the win. But nothing to do with it. Oh, there's a rematch clause there. Um, well, the, his promoters come out and said that he said that he'll do it. Honor it and so. mate, to be honest, I because we had the I had the round uh, round three to eight bet on with Alpha Blokes or whatever, mm-hmm. put that on, 
And I'm just the most cursed cunt when it comes to betting against fighters because after round two, I was counting my money. Yeah, he was yeah, just yeah. planting that giraffe whenever he wanted to in the first two, just yep. banging him. Yeah. He made him look at the roof once, just going, <laughs> yes. Yeah. And I'm like, sweet, Jimmy's got uh, it dialed in. And then, yeah. It, People and, have come out and said that you curse Aussie biffers. Yeah, fucking proper, mate. I've said it. Yeah. All the time. Since UFC, like, yeah. we tested we tested the boxing code and fucking mm-hmm. oh, proper fuck come off. Man, so. Look, mate, I'm but, not gonna. I don't want it to be true. But mate, and it, so but I'm gonna trick the curse because I'll start betting against them so everyone loads up on them. So fuck the curse. <laughs> Thank I'll you. Fucking, Take one for the team. No, I will. Just Cheers, like, mate. fucking <clears throat> flattering himself over there. Thinking <laughs> but, he's everything to do with why oh, they're losing. Well, mate, you, I'll, I'll go back through the whole run that I've done. I've uncrowned Volk. I've fucking knocked Bam Bam out four times. I've fucking Tim Zoo's <laughs> lost against Giraffe, which he was nailing for First two ever rounds. Loss. Yeah. It's fucking, it's there. But um, look, I reckon Timmy wins a rematch um, yep. and, yeah, just keeps going. And his attitude didn't change. He's copped it on the chin. Yep. So many people or boxers or probably myself included would have yapped about the blood in the eye and all that way yeah. more yeah. just to see the quality of him. There's no way Tim doesn't go up <clears> from here. Yeah, you know, exactly. Yeah. yeah. And I hope hard. that they honor that rematch thing because yeah. I think it said something about how there wasn't enough time and it was all verbal and shit. And it was like, he's not standing there with those two belts if Tim doesn't fucking no. pick the phone well, up. That's right. That's right. And he could have easily said, oh, Thurman's pulled out. Mm. We'll reschedule it. Nah, yeah. gave you the opportunity. So now yeah. fucking Fundora's got to give him the opportunity. Yeah, for sure, so. mate. And um, yeah. And who knows? Fundora might. Go, hey, that jab worked. I might try and do it next next fucking fight. How did that make take sense? Him fucking that long to work it out, mate. I was <laughs> la- like, I was laughing when it started because I'm like, look at this cunt. <laughs> he looks like a tripod, <laughs> like fucking just this tall. Like, it looks so kilos, weird. Bro. It looks so weird. I'm it like, does. look, it's at absurd. This guy. It's... But um, yeah, man, I think rematch should happen, and yeah, I'm keen to It'll see be how here, it goes. Hopefully, uh, I think. But the big yeah. thing with the rematch too is like. If Fundora didn't, he probably either fights Errol Spence or Terence Crawford. Errol. Mm. So it's Fuck, like, I hate how he talks. Yeah. yeah. Fuck, I, I hope that he rematches with Tim so then Tim gets that shot because mm. I think he deserves him more than Fundora. Yeah. yeah. I think um, – Completely biased. I think the – like with Liam Wilson too, like skimmed over that a bit. Like I was just shattered because – like he, the first two rounds, I was like, "Fuck yeah!" Like he's using the the distance that he's got, using the reach. You know, he's getting that uppercut dialed in for where Oscar was like ducking down and shit. And I'm yeah. like, "Wow, this is looking really good." And like it's a credit, it's um his downfall is how tough he is and how much he loves blueing. Yeah, because like you could just <laughs> yeah, tell yeah. he's just putting the forehead against him and just trying Honestly. to out Mexican the Mexican. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You know, it was and, cool um, to watch, but it was fucking like I'm going oh. But ooh. even the toughness of the bloke in that last round, like if he even goes down on a knee, like when he's rattled or goes down a bit or whatever, yeah. he gets the, he gets the eight count and the round's probably over in the corner, time to recoup. But he's just not that nah. type of bloke. He's tough as fuck. Never give up. Um, look, I think. How young Liam is and how early is it in his career and you could see what he can do to a world-class fighter like that yeah. in the early rounds. I think it's just him um, gathering that, you know, the sticking to the game plan and not yeah, getting in yeah. that brawl and that. But, yeah, it was still – I'm fucking proud as to yeah. that he's the Aussie, mate. Both 100%. Of them. Yeah. For both of them, eh? Yeah. It was just – yeah, and Zarafa just – that was fucking brutal. Yeah. Just you could off. see him just there. He mustn't have been able to. Oh. His head must have been going all over the shop because he was sort of shaking his yeah. head like, I'm definitely don't Hell, think I'm getting up that here. That was wild where <laughs> the the first punch pretty much lined up the jaw for the second cunt. It was yeah. just like bang, bought. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was like drive so the quick. last hit on the nail, bought. <laughs> yeah. It was wild, man. Yeah, and he's there going and he's just shaking his head going, I don't think I can get up. Nah. <laughs> like, oh, fuck. But anyway, credit to all of them fighting on fucking world Massive. stages. Massive. Like, yep. Fucking Huge. good on them all for having a red hot crack. I it wish is better that. than I'll ever be able to do. I wish that. Um, I don't know what it was like at other venues, but I went to straight up most probably the most popular one of the most popular venues in town. Rolled in, sad the arv, just not even a thing about the Wilson fight, and it was free. And yeah. I'm like. What just the fuck? Shit. Like you just steam in, ready to watch it, and it's yeah. like, 
Especially Why a free it, one. Why is it not on? Like, mm. what the... F- do you even know? Yeah. And but then they pump the fuck out of UFC. But, yeah, I know. But then there's posters for the zoo and all well, that. Well, that, and that's what I mean, too, about the zoo. Like, I and trust me, I'm with zoo as well. I love the bloke. Yeah. Love him even more now after the weekend. But, like, when you got a Liam Wilson who's also an Aussie, also fighting for a fucking world title, yeah. like, how can it be just one bloke so much? Like yeah. fucking support all, especially a free card. Like we're saying, it's free. Fucking put said it on. to put it on. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Not to worry. <clears throat> um, oh, there's a there's a bit going on in the uh, auxiliary sport. Mm, what's We've happening? We've got Bell's Beach is on. Yep. Rip Curl Pro down in Victoria. I think they're up to the semi-finals. They give you a two week, or I think it's two week window for a comp to run. Oh, because the because of the weather and yeah, that. So they, they want, want to surf, pick, pick the best days, mm. and I'm. Thinking, fuck, if you ever wanted to go, it would be a bit of a, like, a can't take. Eh? Like, if you travelled there to go, you sort of got to go for the whole two weeks. You got to wake up in the morning and decide if you're going or not. Well, you don't know if you're going to be watching it or if it's going to be a lay day. Is or... it a very, like, live crowd friendly sport, surfing? Oh, it's definitely not, Matt, like, huge, but they just do sit on the beach. It's just beach, fucking yeah. pumping bungers, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All the... Uh... whoop yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, so they're up to the semis, and there's no Aussies, man, in the oh, men's no, or... True. No Aussies in men's or women's, uh, which is shit. So hopefully they turn that form around before Margaret River over in WA in a couple Who's of weeks. Who's the top dog? Because, you know, remember how, like, you're talking tennis and you got the top three and all yeah. that shit. Kelly Slater was just Kelly Slater for well, so long. Yeah. He surfed at it Bell's Beach. Yeah. How old is that cut? He's over 50, isn't he? I'm pretty that sure That is unreal. Because, I mean, who's the top dog at the moment in well, surfing? Is there a clear-cut one? Nah, I don't, I don't think so this it. season because... I only watched the pipeline yeah. when that Molly Picklam done, you know, that awesome yeah, yeah. fucking thing. And I think uh, it's pretty – like, I don't really know many of the names. No. Like, all the old heads that I know have known, mm. they sort of don't feature in the semis and quarters and finals and that anymore, yeah. you know. So it might be a changing of the guard. Mm. Um, now, I've got one for for the listeners. I want an opinion. Um, which you aren't shy to fucking give me. So <laughs> uh, uh, we had a few messages around motorsport. Uh, I want to know if the people are keen for a bit of motorsport. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what's this guy doing? <laughs> Is anyone keen for a bit of coverage? Because I don't mind it at all. I usually, I'll normally watch all the qualifying highlights and the race highlights of the F1s. And then a little bit of V8s, but not as much. If people want it, I'll fucking give it to you. I But it'll be V8s and F1s, none of this third division European yeah. road, road bike <laughs> fucking rubbish. Uh, so, yeah, let me know. And we well, can we do cover little, everything. So we I'm can do sure a little recap of in. the Grand Prix, you know, that are on. Yeah, we just had the Australian one a few weeks ago. Didn't yeah, we? that's right. That's the whole thing, eh? Whatever you guys normally suggest, we'll give you a bit of shit about it, but we'll also listen because you guys are the ones who are making this all possible. That's right. So, so if you yeah. want to hear it, let Groper know. Let us know. Uh, and Luke Littler keeps putting on a show in the darts, oh, boys. Big, big nuke. Um, yeah, just keeps giving the crowd what they want. That's this right. massive checkouts. That's and great stuff. Winning and, oh, yeah, I think he's, has he turned Literally, 17 I was yet? just about oh. to ask that. I have no idea. He still yeah. looks 35. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, he does, man. And he'd just it be on the wild. piss with all these adults all the time just yeah. going, how good is this? Hey, I've got it made. Look yeah. at all you silly cunts training all At work. school. Just eats <laughs> yeah. kebabs. How yeah. much, like, how much do they make for winning a big comp? Do you have oh, a, like a ballpark? I wouldn't figure? even have a clue. Because like, I'm thinking like the Littler, like he could set himself up. But there's but one a week. Like there's one on all the time. I'm going to Google it. Got like a tour. <clears throat> I'm going to look it up. Did it, is so, it like the Premier League or something? Yeah, Isn't there's there a like Premier 12 League. 12 or so blokes or something. There's other stuff as well though. Yeah. And then you got the world champs and you got the match play champs and there's all sorts of different shit. It would all just be about which And it's ones. not like it's taking it a toll on his body. Here we like go. No. On so Biggest darts tournaments for prize money. Um, well, championships would be the yeah. first, surely. Mm. Oh, cool. I've been directed to another site. You guys keep talking. I'll <laughs> I'll do a bit of digging here. Yeah, right. I will keep digging. Um, yeah, I think he beat uh, a mate of his, Aspinall or something, in the final. Oh, which, yeah. Like, they always have good banter and shit with each other. So, no, nah, good to see. Good I think on the there kid. Was, there was one in Belfast. That's where the latest one was. I think it that was a week ago. 
Unless I was just reading old news. Could have uh, done something I've done. <laughs> yeah. Groper's fake news. Yeah, but mine wouldn't have been two years old. <laughs> no. Wouldn't have been just sitting on a video and going, well, it's got to be true right now. <laughs> it was true. It was fucking epic. That it was Tom, very outdated. That Tom Morris thing, man. It so was. it says here, one player is certainly rolling in it is Michael Smith. He enjoyed his first tournament win at the PDC World Championship, not only earned the title of number one ranked player in the world, but was paid £500,000 yeah, for the privilege. Yeah, that's a million bucks. For a fucking mm. darts contest. That is great stuff. That's a million bucks, and that's the World Championship. That's, so. And that is... That's just a win, too. That is one of the reggiest sports on earth. Oh, it's so on, probably, on earth. That's probably the one. It has to it? be the. It has to be It's got to be the It's got to be the. One hundred. Like, you can say golf, but... How look the dartboard nah. is right there. Golf is yeah. way harder than darts and way more <laughs> walking and driving and hitting. <laughs> yeah. and if shit. you want to, if you want to play on the darts tour, yeah. or if you want to play on the PGA, it's going to be way easier to yeah. get on the well, darts. Well, here's tour. the thing: if you're right-handed and have a stroke and can't use the left side of your body, you're still darting. <laughs> That's right. You're still dart. And if you're fat on the PGA Tour, you're an anomaly. If you're skinny in the darts tour, you're an anomaly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, great. Yeah. It's great Fuck stuff. Yeah. No physical prowess <laughs> at man. all. Littler. Fuck what, a, what a machine. God, he's good. Right, oh, should we put some footy tipping in? I think yes, so. Let's. let's do it. We'll start with the league. Someone get something up. Someone it's get the other something up. It's a huge game Thursday night. Yeah, I just wish we had fucking players. Mm. Yeah, we're still missing a couple. We're still missing Pierre Kura, Haas, Walshie. Yeah, just three and massive Melbourne names. have Munster and Hughes. Yeah. But I'm going to tip the Bronx. Good I just man. Yeah, I fucking hate playing Melbourne. Because I hate they, playing Melbourne in right, Melbourne. Our record is terrible, but it's worse at Suncorp than it's it is worse. down there. Well, last year when we beat them 26-0, it was like, have we broken the curse against Melbourne? But nah, nah. No, but the second game was with Reggie's playing. Remember? Nah, this was the final. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, the one sorry, that we sorry. lost even at home was all the, week, the Reggies. The week before was yeah. the Reggies the game. The second one was in the final. If I go a groper each way here, I'd be <laughs> saying, like, I'm going to go, uh, <laughs> I'm going to say the storm. Like, I'm tipping the storm. But my groper each way is that those three coming back together, they might maybe not be. be a bit rusty. Maybe. Mm. Maybe. So there's me groper each way. Yeah, but nice. I'm going the storm. If Renault turns up again, fucking oh, could be wear huge. every chance. And so I don't like, think he. I don't think he drink waters. Pap though. Oh well, you never know. Pap might fucking. He could definitely do what he did to a lungy and felt to fucking Warbrick and Coates though. Yeah, Warbrick's got that real winger about him. He does. He? <laughs> he's so fucking winger, man. He's got that dumb winger. <laughs> yeah. about him. Well, he's got Brick. two W's as his fucking initials. The the big winger, winger, winger. winger. <laughs> William Winger, <laughs> winger, winger. Even Will though, Winger Warbrick. No, no. <laughs> Even though um, while she's out. It's like Tristan Taylor. Yeah, we don't lose anything there, no. like structurally. Yeah. That's right. So obviously the boys are with in. the Bronx. Yeah. I'm with yep. the Storm. I'm riding it. Can yep. Right, oh, next game we got Bulldogs v the Roosters. Tough game mm. for me. I reckon it's a tough one. You reckon? It looks like you just picked the Roosters, but it's tough, I reckon. Doggies will give them a crack, but I still think Roosters are going to be too good. Mm. Yeah. I'd, yeah. Doggies well, can't um, play 80 minutes of good footy yet. Yeah, I know, I know. But yeah, yeah, so what we got changes? We got Preston's out the broken jaw. Yeah, but look at their look look what, other pers- changes, man. I personally don't think they're losing anything. Josh Curran goes straight in there. <laughs> there <laokay>. we go. <laughs> so yeah, you got weak gutted playing lock still. Weak gutted is it? Lock? Curran's yep. playing second row, and they're starting. Thank fuck for all you fucking super coach and fantasy coaches out there. They're starting Sam Hughes. Mm. Thank Christ, because yeah. he's been getting about 15 minutes a week. And I they remember I said at the start of the year, they were saying that he's one of the fittest at the club. Yeah, yeah, yeah they yeah. were too. So start the cunt. Mm. And they have. So, look, I I like their pack more than I did last week. Yep. Kick out, still needs to get fitter. He misses fucking oh. just dumb tackles all the time because he he's so lazy. looks fucking unfit, man. There was yeah. a couple of glimpses. They like, I think they made a break or a kick or something, and he was just – Trotting up the field, yeah. like tongue out of his mouth, just oh, yeah. heaving. It was the like, same last year, man. Every, yeah, every, weird. When he played those few games, because he was out injured heaps and shit was going on, he'd come back and he would just look atrocious in defense. Off the eh? ball, he just walked well, around. Look who's like, going to be tackling him, though, and who I'll be putting as an any time. Who's tackling game. who? 
who's cackling kick outs, either Sam Walker oh, or yeah. Luke Keery. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think it's actually <laughs> Sam Walker who will be tackling him. I'd probably go Curran over kick out. But anyway, that's Yeah, Curran does like scoring tries, but, yeah. Well, well, those two, yeah, chuck one of those two into your multi. The <laughs> pack looks good. It mm. does. I, looks in good. saying that, though, I'm Roosters. What are you, boys? Yeah, yeah I'm going, I'm going Roosters. Roosters. Right. Yeah. Do you, but you've... Groper each way to it. No. No, no. No, you just straight up. Just straight up. So I love that, eh? I'm just saying, no, it's, it's okay. great stuff. It looks clear cut, but it's, yeah. it's going to be a good game. Yeah, I'm yeah. interested to watch it anyway. Yeah, yeah me too. Righto. Uh, next we got Knights versus the Dragons. I think this is an interesting Can't one. Kind of a game to tip. Kind of a game. <laughs> See, this is my thing. I go, oh, I'll do another one where I think the Dragons should win. Oh, I'll yeah. get pips. Nah, <laughs> probably not. I'm going to Knights. Yeah. I've got me little, I've got a little couple of. You know, what Jackson Hastings returns here, 50, by 50. the way. Oh, yeah. And he's lined up with. Um, Is he? Gamble? Yeah, with Cogger in the halves. Cogger. See, stop. I don't mind that. I think they they're the keep... two better players, but do you know how I have that OCD weird thing about a two halfbacks? Yeah, they're yeah, two yeah. halfbacks for me, and I Similar don't like style it. players. But so is Kyle Flanagan and Ben Hunt. Yeah, I like so that. Because yeah, so. then they can both kick, they can both do everything. I think yeah. at home. Newey, get it oh, done. Please get it done, Newey, you fucks. But, fuck it. I'm going what? dragons. Ooh. I'm going the dragons. I just think they're on a little fucking. But this is such a dragons game to lose 56 nil now. Yeah, after yeah, last exactly. yeah, I know, but it just makes no sense what they've done already. It so does. Yeah, yeah, I just yeah. go, fuck it. I've, I've got to the, get one of these. Hopefully, yeah. yeah. I'm not jag, stopping one until one I get them. one. Go, <laughs> eight, eight, go eight of them and you'll get one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, righto. I'm going dragons. Righto. Righto. We're on to the Rabbitohs versus the Warriors next. This is my one. Is it? I'm going the Rabbits. Oh! It's, it's, it, is it in New it's Zealand? At, it's, no, it's in Sydney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Sorry, it's in Sydney. Um, and I'm going to pick the Rabbits. I just, I'm hoping that they just needed some confidence of a win. Mm, yeah, you know? it wasn't impressive, but it might boost them a little yeah. bit. Oh, okay. That's how you win again. Right, yeah, let's true. go. Cody, Latrell, AJ, and they'll just put it on them. I just mm. think Chan's back, Roger. And, yeah, uh, that's. Is that I good think Warriors are riding too much of a high after the last couple of weeks. Yeah, Some great yeah. wins at so. home, but that's true. Anyway, I, that's my one. I'm yeah, going. but it's it, too easy. the flight is a bit because you're going to Sydney, but mm. it's not like a core when their two thousand Rabbitohs fans are going to have a <laughs> fortress against the mm. Wars. No, yeah. Nah, right. Oh, no, I'll go Waz. Yeah, I'm with the Waz too. Good, that's good. I like to see Tom tip the Waz when mm, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, that'd be all right. Um, right. Next, we got Seagulls versus the Panthers. Tough. Tough for it's me. It's tough because do you it's rule a, out Manly? It's a four away? point. It's a Brookie. <laughs> it's at Brookie. And it's a day game. Mm. And we saw what happened against the Roosters. Yeah. Everyone turned out. It was fucking good to see. This is another one. Fisher um, Harris is back with his bash bro up front, which is a big is in. He? Big in. He said fucking to be confirmed when I looked. Yeah. Damn. I just can't. <laughs> I went against Penrith last week and I instantly went, why did I fucking do that? Yeah. But I'm not. Yeah. It's, this isn't because I think, oh, Manly are done now. They lost to the Dragons. Shows they're nothing because they just aren't. I'm, I'm not counting them out yet at all because that one loss. I'm tipping them. To bounce back oh. after the Manly. Oh, yeah? Yeah. This might be my each way for the weekend. Just the day game. The day game. Yeah. Fucking everyone that's turns out. That's sort of happened Rookie. a bit this year, yeah. doesn't it? Um, this, I don't that's... like, why is Dane Laurie at 14? For you? Mm. Yeah. Wouldn't you play that Sonny Luke? Yeah. Like, what, what's Dane Laurie? Are you waiting? Are you putting him in there in case the fullback gets hurt? Yeah, yeah, I don't get it either. That that's shit. Why you wouldn't play Sony Luke unless you want the PlayStation to get eighty minutes in the Reggies each week, you know? Yeah, yeah. I but you know, I'd rather just have a, another forward on there than Dane I just think yeah. Dane Laurie only gets used properly if there's an injury. Yeah. In like, wing and full well, back. It. So anyway. Yeah. I've, That's my um, great each way for the weekend. I'm going yeah. Penrith, but you are going I'm Penrith. each way in it. Yeah. Well, I just went <laughs> two weeks ago, you had the Tigs at Leichhardt. Yeah, mate. I've, and then I you had the it. Dragons. Yeah. At, Wollongong. Mm. And Rookie I'm... can fucking do things for Manly as well. And they'll be pissed. Oi, talking oh, about cunts yeah. of games, especially with what's been happening, this yeah. next one for me is hard as fuck. The Finns versus the Tigers. Mm. Why are they playing at That is court? hard. Are they? Yeah. Oh, oh because the, like they would have had a deal oof. signed, man, where you a lot play of X amount of games. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll tip the Finns. 
But, uh, like, surely the Tigs can't fucking back up three weeks can't. in a row. I think I've wasted Galvin's eight. out. Uh, oh, that's yeah. a good call. He's been really good. Yeah, Galvin. he's been really good. Like, that that show and go sort of thing where he set up that try yeah. and they win by that amount they won oh, by. Sullivan. Like, does mm. Sullivan do that same thing? I don't know, I reckon. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, I think gosh. I think the Finns purely because they don't have the same side as they have and yeah. Galvin's been a big part of it. Yeah, and they're but that's that still could fucking like they're on a bit of a they'd be on they a high the boys high. yeah but so the Finns because so the they Finns. didn't they they're top of the table yeah. I think. <laughs> yeah, the Who? Finns fucking no they're not they're top of the table here we go please check it they are I'm looking at it right now oh, they've is got it? a better differential than Penrith and, yeah right uh, true shit I thought they'd lost <clears throat> they have yeah they so yeah right but. Because they had the bye. Yeah, they, they got, got the six two points. points. Yeah. Like Penrith have won three games. Yeah. Dolphins have yeah, won right two, right but right they had a right bye. Right. Got you. And okay. they, when they pumped Dragons 36 0, they just went through the roof. The, the confidence, they've put 30 on a couple of weak teams, but mm. then you had. A couple of weak guardians. But then you get the Dragons beating Manly, and you go, oh, righto, here we mm. go. So, yeah, Finns. I'm going to tip them. Tip the Finns. Finns. What are you, Jace? Tigers. Until they fall off. This is like a Jace mental coin toss, and I've just yeah. gone the Tigers just because they're going to have so much fucking oh, momentum. Here we go, boys. Weeks. Hold on to your fucking hats because <laughs> we got the Cowboys versus the Titans. <laughs> Up at uh, Dairy Farmers too, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I'll uh, tip the Cowboys. Ninety nine percent on the Cowboys, yeah. and I will be joining. Me yeah. too. <laughs> oh, it's not one of your one of your ones. You no, think? I'm not going to G H Y on this one. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, on to the next. We got Raiders versus the Eels. Another just shit shitter of a game yeah. to tip because is Moses <sighs> that big of a loss that you know? I think it's shown it kind of is. Yeah. And then and you got the Raiders who just, oh, up just eight, shit themselves. <laughs> up 18. They no played such stuff. good footy I'm not in certain them spurts purely this year. just because fuck you, cunts. <laughs> From last week, you shit heaps. 18 nil and you fuck me. So I'm going the Eels and you can fuck me again. Well, that's, oh. the thing is, I want to tip the Eels too. But then I go, well, they obviously can play good footy, the Raiders. Yeah. It could be up 18 nil that early. Oh, fuck them. Yeah. Ricky it's going to be. Ricky was furious. Oh, he gave it to him holy. in the presser. They said someone asked him a question about, oh, you know, what do you think of this guy's performance? He was really good, and he basically just said none of them, none yeah, of them, they're des- all none shit. of them deserve anything tonight. He, would you rather cop a spray from him or Bellamy? Just quickly. Ooh, that's tough. I reckon Bellamy just because Ricky. Could probably throw him as well. Mm. Whereas yeah. Bellamy looks like a winger who could. I reckon Ricky could. would just get personal as well. He wouldn't even talk about Bell- footy. Bellamy would probably have a weapon you. though. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, I have written eels here and I'm going to tip the Raiders. Ooh. I'm going to tip the Raiders because I reckon they've got the footy in them and Sticky would have stuck it up them. They mm. absolutely would have stuck it up them. And, and it's going to be a cold, <laughs> sad, dark night on Sunday in Canberra. Exactly. I think uh, I'm going to go the milk as well. <laughs> right, uh, oh, nice. cool. Milk's going to be the new Warriors for me. I can see it. <laughs> Sharkies of the buy. Yeah. That'll yeah, be that fun. was, remember I said about old mate with his bet? Mm. Tipped him to be top of the table after five rounds because they had the buy, but was they it just lo- first lost place? to the Tigs. Yeah, yeah. They lost to the Tigs. Yeah, so they can't. They're fourth. They can't possibly get mm. there. Or could they? No, they couldn't. They can't. No. Uh, right over let's AFL. do the AFL, yep. Yep, 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 yep. So it is a Thursday night game by the looks. Yes. And it <laughs> is gather round. Come yeah. on, boys. Yeah. So this, this was, was this the game last year? I want to know. No, it wasn't. It was Carlton. Yeah, it was Carlton. So another big Melbourne team that they've got to play. Yep. I just reckon there'll be 50,000 there. Oh, if there's, this is their chance to fucking turn up. Yeah, I'm tipping them. Back to it's, back, back to yeah. back trips to the Adelaide Oval for the D's. They would have just stayed there, surely. You'd mm. think no so. fucking way you would have gone home. Well, uh, you can't fucking. You got to take Clary home and lock him up. Though. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine saying, "Boys, we don't have training for a couple of days, and we're staying in Adelaide for a week." You would have been yeah. like, "See ya." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna tip Adelaide to fire the fuck up. Yeah. Oh. Especially. <laughs> Especially after that <laughs> fucking T Dahl fire up. Someone needs to send it to the coach. I'm serious. Yeah. Fuck you. Fuck. Yeah. I, I want to go because of the juju. Someone of Tom's tell the rev cunt. up, but come on, fucking get behind him, Jace. You <laughs> I cunt. can't. Demons. Don't shit on me. Demons last week. Don't shit week. on us. <laughs> <laughs> 
Dude. Fuck off! <laughs> they, they beat Port last you week. Dog. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you dog. You've got to go, Dees. I'm sorry, Tom. You I've f- got to do it. <laughs> you fucking dog, he says. <laughs> Righto. Get okay. that in here. And then Friday, you've got Lions. Riveter, this. The Verse. Rooters or the Butcher Stripes. <laughs> what? <coughs> well, look at them. It's blue and white. Stripes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, the Lions have got to win, surely. It's got to be Lions. They, if they lose this, fucking say goodnight. That's it. Yeah. So you reckon the Rooters Season will get it done even lose. though they've been rooting? Oh, and the Rooters, I get it. Because mm. it's the kangaroos. I'm like, what are oh. you? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I was right. like, what's this? I was like, about? I got what he meant. I was like, why are you so can fucking confused? <laughs> <coughs> um, yeah, yeah they got to be Lions. They're not even playing at the Adelaide Oval, are they? No, Norwood Oval. Yeah. You that, can't have all the games because there's too many games, not yeah, enough time. It doesn't work yeah. the same, boys. Sorry. Nah, it's nah. not as cool. But everyone gathers around. They gather. It's a, <laughs> Your idea is there. But can you – you'd have to have a game on Monday and it wouldn't work. Mm, yeah, because yeah. no, like, yeah. no one's – No, everyone's yeah. going to be that sore on Look, it'd still be cool. It's just not as cool. Yeah, or you start a game <clears> at 10 <throat> in the morning. Well – if we can do it, if there's an expansion club comes in the NRL, sorry, I say we there. Yeah, but mean. there's not the games don't go for as long. True. Mm. Yeah. That's anyway. very true. Uh right, are you going lions as well, Tom? Yeah, I'll go the Roosters. Y- yep. You can't go the Roos, fucking hell. <laughs> and then after that, you got Port versus Essendon. Uh cracking game. Cracking game, especially after Essendon's performance last week. Yeah, I'm but tipping Port. I'm tipping Port. Mm, so they've got to bounce back. Yep. And who knows? The D's might be it, you know, and they've taken them to within a That's kick right. Two, Jeez, so. the Eagles must suck whole. <laughs> Twelve dollars, so much, bro. <laughs> <hole>. Twelve <laughs> bucks. Yeah. See, so, yeah, yeah so we've been sort of saying that there's a bit of upside for North. Like they kicked eighty points against yeah. Carlton last week. They've been in a. Re- oh, they started so well against Frio. Frio. They were up by six goals, but. West Coast, nah. nothing's looked good for West Coast. <laughs> they have all. just looked terrible. Oh, yeah. Shit. Yeah. The only so good thing bad. they had to look forward to was their first draft pick. It was Harley Reid. Yeah. yeah. And oh, who know? Well, who would have thought? You can't just fucking <laughs> pick the best player in the under eighteen yep. comp and turn it around. That's right. Anyway, give him two years and he'll leave West Coast anyway. Yeah. Go back to Melbourne. <clears throat> win a couple of flags. Yeah. Tom Lynch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You fucking dog. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's got to be Sydney boys. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Yeah, Sydney. Yeah, yep. clearly Sydney. Right. After that, you've got Frio versus Carlton. Now, this one's at Adelaide Oval. I'm going Frio. Straight up, I went fucking Frio because it's long trip west, mm. boys. And then I looked and it was gather around and I'm like, fuck. So Carlton to keep on a roll for me. I think so too. I Just because, so. like, we've tipped them to win the comp. Yeah, you need to did. be beating Freo. It, what makes it even more cemented, that remark, is we said, oh, Lions and Collingwood are up there too, probably the only teams that'll stop them. Yeah. And they've dropped off. Yeah, so it's yeah, like, yeah. Carlton, here you go. Just win. Win the flag. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going the Blues. Yeah. After that, we've got Geelong versus the Doggies. And uh, I think it was you know, one. Good game. It will be a good game. I think it'll be close, fuck but it. the fuck cats. It, Tom. Yeah, no, nah, fuck you. Yeah, you can do Bulldog. it to me. I did it to you, so <laughs> fair you, enough. You fucking dog. But cats will be winning this. Dogs always just more cats. Too. Yeah, that's right. Mm. Dogs are way better than cats. <laughs> Unless it's a big fucking jungle cat. That Who just true. fucks anything he wants. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, Geelong are playing really well, so unfortunately I'm going to tip them. Mm. But you should fuck him. No, I'm fucking him. Yeah, you fuck him. Now I'm nervous because some bad juju following you in the tipping and punting recently, Tom. (coughs) Yeah, Yeah. beautiful. Oh, we'll tip you along then. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Sunday at Adelaide Hills. You've got Gold Coast versus GWS. You've got to go GW. Got to go GW. Coming off the bye. Fuck, they've looked good to start the year. I'm going GWS. GW. After that, at Norwood Oval, it's Richmond versus St Kilda. Three dollars forty for Richmond. For Richmond, here. yeah. So I'm with the bookies there because I reckon St Kilda. I'm going to tip St Kilda after Richmond went so hard last week. I reckon they'll be a bit wounded. Ooh, right. So be a bit busted. St Kilda have played well. They've lost a couple of tight ones to sides that look like they're going to go mm. right. So yeah, fuck. I think I'm going to go Richmond. Oh, yeah. right. I, just, no, I, I think it's. Kilda. I'm saying it's going to be an upset, 
Like St Kilda should win this, but I, is. this is my upset. That's, the GS that's right. Right. Each way, each way. <laughs> St Kilda should win, but I think Richmond will. <laughs> the GEW. Yeah, yeah. And then to wrap up, big gather round. The poos and wees. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Versus did you pies. See, did you see him put the fucking shitty nappies in the bin? <laughs> What's that? Luke the... Smith goes just dropping off fucking uh, Hawthorne or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Must have been his kids' nappies yeah, yeah, or yeah. some shit. Well, you'd hope so. Yeah. <laughs> Not his. <laughs> uh, I, I just want Hawthorne to play a team like mm. Carlton, where I'll tip Carlton, instead of teams that I mm. fucking hate with a passion <laughs> and I keep tipping Hawthorne. So yeah. Collingwood have not played well. They played okay against the Lions. So do you not give a fuck about the AFL tips, but you care about the NRL tips? Is it? Are you looking at where I'm coming? No, no. I'm just looking at like <laughs> you're like, oh, I can't tip the Bronx because I think they're going to lose. But you're like, I hate that team in the AFL, so I'll tip the Hawks even though they're going to lose. But we haven't like <clears throat> who do the who do the who do I hate? Penrith. I do like hate after the final, but it's not like yeah, a team yeah. that I've grown up. Okay. Like the Roosters so like you or passionately yeah. hate Sydney, these cunts in Melbourne. the AFL. Yeah, but there's so many – because there's so, so many, many more rival, rivalries down there. It's yeah, like there Essendon um, and Collingwood because yeah. everyone hates them. Mm. But then more recently it's been Geelong over the last two decades. You <laughs> That's know? rivalry's so been built, yeah. yeah. So, so anyway, you're going Collingwood? <laughs> yeah, I am. No, no, no. I'm going oh, Hawthorne. No. <laughs> nah. I'm going Hawthorne Is that because way? Collingwood haven't played fucking well yet. Yeah. And they mm. the only team they've beaten is the Rooters. So Yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> the big cheaters. And we who knows what's going on up there. That's true. Yeah. So, you can't judge it off that I've one. I've forgotten win, which but... jungle cat they are, those guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm um, I'm going Collingwood. Hawthorne, not good enough. Oh. Yeah, I'm Collingwood. Nice. Righto. Righty, eh? That's Rana. the tips done for the week, boys. Mm. Beautiful. Righto, hey, boys, biggest supporters we've got, I reckon, mm. up there anyway. 100%. Uh, the standard squeeze team. Uh, who got the new hydrate? We got it. Mm. We got it. I've been you took it to golf. Pounding Was it prime at golf? Mate, I put ice in it and water. At I teed off at 6.30, put it in about 6 a.m. I woke up so fucking hungover Sunday morning, mm. <laughs> rolled over, and it was still cold. I've got to chew on a little bit of ice. Fucking How good ice. is that? We said 24 yeah. hours. Over 24 hours. Oh, I know, but we said 24 because we just wanted yeah, to. That yeah, proved really. me. I just rolled over and it just made me feel instantly better. Well, yeah. I'll tell you what, I'm going to Stanage Thursday. Yeah. So I'll miss the punch show, but I'll be going there for four days of getting stuck into my work. Doubt that much water is going to get consumed, <laughs> but I'll water. bring one for the boat. Fuck you know? yeah. Perfect. And how good will that be? And uh, oh, do you know what else I'll be bringing? The standard squeezers, the fucking jersey to snig around the flats. But those squeezers will be getting stuck into their work. Stand, yep. I'm pretty much sponsored by the standard squeeze on this trip. Yeah. You are. <laughs> fucking I've got you covered, mate. Um, just a little bit on the on the uh, hydrates for those who missed it last week. It's a dual wall vacuum sealed design of, of a water bottle. Um, you'll hold cold water for up to 24 hours. And Jason just said he got more out of it. Mm. And hot water for up to 12 it's made from high quality stainless steel, and they include the three separate lids. How good's that? You got the so, handle, mm. you got the the gulper, and then, then the A grader, and then there's a straw <laughs> actually in there as yeah. well. You don't even have to find your own straw. Mm. So uh, awesome. Where it's just another good item Fuck from the nice squeeze man. to add to the collection. And I've already seen a couple <clears> of posts <throat> in the RLC about yep. it. It's fucking good. Yep. Um, game like we've said, game changer when fishing, golfing, any of that stuff. So. Uh, what do we got? You've got, I think there's three sizes too. Because I thought there was only two, but there's three. There's the 3.8 yeah, so. and then there's a 1.9 and then there might be something in between there. Go oh, have a look and so. see what it suit you, the best guys. Right. And, Bloody um, oath. Go out there and don't forget well, you all might well, shit. Yeah, you might as well chuck a bundle in if you haven't got anything yet. Chuck, chuck that in. Chuck in. the squeezes in. Use code REGGIE15 at checkout. 15%, 15% off. off. 15% off. REGGIE15. The standard squeeze.com is where you go. Yeah, get around them because we love supporting them just like they support us. Like an awesome. Awesome. So do we just give it to Gutho for missing the I want to give it to or... Wingers, but I'm happy to give it to Gutho. Ooh, oh. That's tough, actually. I think it suits the theme of the show more if we give it to Wingers. Yeah. Because Gutho's is like, so, fuck, man. It's like that wasn't a really easy kick. Yeah. Yeah, but he shanked it. He did. Anyway, he to win the left. game. Nah, I'm happy to give it to, to all wingers. Yeah, I want to just give it to the wingers. <laughs> just, just wingers. Just so that they understand that they can understand stay on their that wing. I know 
what you're doing. Yep. And it annoys I'm the fuck out of me. Wingers. They're looking after their own. I just want them to come That's back and explain. Yeah. I want that. Oh. They're looking after each other. I won't them. defend if you don't. Let them yeah. score. I'll stay on that centre even though the centre's got him covered <laughs> so you can score. You do it for me next game. <laughs> yeah. Because take Something's, the scoring out. Because otherwise, why fucked. do we have them? We could just put two centres out yeah, there. Yeah, put two centres. <laughs> they should. Yeah, man. I just. Yeah. Yeah, I just think pull your fucking heads in. I just want to know why they do it. Right, uh, wing as it is. I might yeah. even just sprinkle in an exception for maybe Taruva and Tyo because they were fucking unreal. No, doing that's non just, doing non winger shit. Yeah, though. but that's just what happens when you're no. In but that. wingers all still do some good shit, but they'll have a winger <laughs> moment. Yeah, that's true. At least one every game you'll find one of the four wingers be a winger. Every yeah. game, if you fucking <laughs> yeah. Even Cobo in the centres had a winger moment. Yeah, because he's a, he's, he's just he's getting just out of winger. his winger stage. He yeah. He's still Let's got he's, he's still got the stink of winger on him. <laughs> he's transitioning. There's at least one season of winger wingers to get it out of him. Yeah, yeah before yeah, they yeah, become yeah, not yeah, a winger. You need it. Yeah, yeah. right. So, wingers. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, and Connor Tracy, that's your fault. <laughs> oh, he just pushed me out there. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, I've fucking I've I've got out of. I've given a winger a pat on the back and it showed and it just five told me it'll later, never happen yeah. again. <laughs> five minutes later, the world said, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Have a sit down and think about what you've just fucking done, Tom. <laughs> Here's something to help you yeah. think. <laughs> right, yeah. no, what about the CTC boys? Oh, mate, the only fucking dome to put, uh, yeah, dome protector to put <laughs> on your dome. Knuckles, CTC, the team behind us as well. Always does a good job there. Head to the country companies for all the designs the Knuckler's got. There's fucking so many of them. And head to the country trucker cuts to design your own. Like you can design whatever you want on a hat that has been tested and proven to be unreal. You walk outside and you're pretty much guaranteed to see a CTC hat or 200 in your day, mm. you know, getting around. Not I just even... here, but all over the fucking world. That's apparently. right. He's That's doing right. a fucking great, great things, and he's a big supporter of us and can't thank him enough. So make sure you go and support the people who support us. Please. Captain of the week. If this isn't clear cut this week, I don't know what is. Tommy Dearden for me. Yeah. It's it, just... is, it is clear. Um, I think couple of shouts, he would have he would have lost to oh it's hard because I really want to give it to Zoo just for that. Oh, Herculean actually, that's a that's that a fucking great that's a great call. Fuck, like if Zoo had a yeah, it's like I don't even want to say if he had a one. No, I know what you mean. Like, it was kind of Dearden's one effort was like oh that's captain worthy. But you look at Tim Zoo, they, no, they you lost. Are the captain. Can we can we give co captains? Ooh. Well, everyone does it these days. I think we yeah. can because that's Tim Zhu fighting through that and he's, and he's well, being so humble after. Yeah. Fuck, I was impressed by that. I know this that. kind of dumbs it down, but it's <laughs> like split your head in a championship fight in Vegas and still trudge through. Made a good tackle when your team's getting pumped. When you're lost. That's yeah. what I was about. When I went to say the Zhu lost thing, I'm like, hang on. The cows were getting hammered. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, so that's not tough. to knock Tom Dearden at all. No. I'm putting well, I Timmy Zoo forward. I, oh, do we have to pick one? Oh, uh, just give it to Well, there's of three of us. I, can so. we co-captain them? Um, <laughs> have we coed before? I don't think we've yeah. coed. I swear <laughs> we've done it at least once. Yeah, that, I thought we have too. Is that like fucking Pretty sure pro, you have. Is that they, them mm. pronouning sort of shit? No, nah, I think that, we've coed mm, before. Have we? Well, yeah. I, I want to give it – I think they both deserve – it's like we're actually giving them something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're tossing it right up because it's like they're going to get 10 grand or something. <laughs> they're just going to get a shout. Yeah. Um, well, I, they I, listen, so they'll I be very happy. I just think both of their things will go down in history as a great thing. Yeah, fuck yeah. So give it a both. Yeah, I can't split they them. They can have a co. Yeah. 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 Good on the Good boys. Work, boys. Have a co. I don't know. Weird to have two smaller – as usually have a forward and a back. But mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All good. Good on you, boys. Fucking, Fucking love that. Love that segment. Those segments. Um, but look, we'll wrap it up there, eh? There's a another massive weekend ahead. Yeah. We've got a big punch show on Thursday because we've got to preview the first day of the championships where we're going to have group ones everywhere yeah. in Sydney. Um, we will see you there Friday morning for the punch show. Fucking oath. I won't be there, but I'll have me, I'll be sending me recordings through. Yeah, and hopefully fuck yeah. digging myself out of the fucking hole that I've found myself in yeah. in the last yeah. few weeks. So, And we will be uh, putting up the 
fucking the leaderboards. Spready, the spready leaderboard, Not the spready, just the leaderboards. Would have been nice to put it up while I was still in front of the championships, but anyway. Well, we I said am, once a month. Yeah, nah, it's all right. I'm glad, to, I'm glad it's been put up this week after the Group 1 win. Yeah, yeah. Well, mm. G1P is also glad. Holy yes, fuck. Let me tell that you. bloke is oh. unstoppable. He is. He is. If and I... the listeners are also glad. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they, they got their win and now they're actually in front. Yeah. So. timed it perfectly. <laughs> yeah. No, well, good. good give on. them a false sense of security up there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, we'll see you Friday morning. Good on you. Right.